Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be checking in in our today's video. But before I start, today is going to be a start of my new sale. It is a 10% off just for the 4th of July weekend. It's up until Saturday. So use the code 4th of July, which is the number 4 and then capital TH of July. So I'm going to put it on the screen so you guys won't be confused. So that will be up when you see this video up until Saturday like I said so it's gonna be the 4th through the 6th I just wanted to give you guys a little code just in case you guys have been wanting something from my shop and I don't usually have a lot of codes but I will try to have more in the future so that's gonna be this time around we're gonna get on the um, the check-in so we are gonna be checking in we have a little bit of June to check in from and then up until july 3rd which is today so i started my job already so as you guys are watching this i already had my first day i already know how the job is so it's nothing really new like i said so i'm excited to have some income that is not my etsy or not my online income which i forgot to make an online income for the month so if you guys are still interested on that let me know so i can make it but i will definitely not miss it for july because I didn't really expect to make anything out of my, what do you call this, my YouTube. It was very unexpected and random, but I'm super thankful that I did. I didn't have all of my receipts like always. I don't know guys, I've been slacking so, so much. I did have a lot of bills. I have that, so we're going to go with the tune actually. It's going to be right here, and then we're going to cough up all of our stickers. I really, really love this sticker setup. Like, I have my new releases right here. I have this to hold it up. I love it because I can just pull my stickers every time I'm planning and it's just so easy. So like I said, I got this from Hobby Lobby if you guys are wondering. It's $2.99 and this is just a lid to kind of keep it from falling down and I made these little, what do you call these, dividers from my own cash envelopes that I made and what I do is I just keep like what stickers I have so every time I see it right here you can see what type of stickers that I have right there so everything at the front is not my own stickers some of them are and some of them aren't so it's just really easy honestly like this one right here I already know that these are my budget expense stickers because that's just so easy and then I have my script stickers that are no spend my cash stuffing one right here and then I have my no orders one. So it's really, really easy. Let me pull my no spend ones. I'm kind of self-promoting here. And I think I won't go back to the whole, what do you call these, photo albums. They were nice. It was just getting so bulky, if you guys didn't notice. I have like a little stain right here. And I'm so excited to be just done with this page because that thing is disturbing. Let's see. My first, very first spending day. Let me see if I have the receipt. Yeah, I do have it. I have a McDonald's receipt right here, which I spent $23 at McDonald's. That is a lot because I bought like two meals and then two, two McFlurries. I just really like uh, McFlurries lately and I'm loving McDonald's lately apparently. You guys see a trend here. Like if I start liking something, I'm not going to let it go until like I'm fed up with it, which is basically Wendy's. Like I got really tired of Wendy's real quick because I've been eating out there a lot. My blues are my eating out, so we're gonna put McDonald's. And my arrangement with my boyfriend, I pretty much buy everything that is fast food and he takes care of the restaurant, like sit down stuff, like the more expensive ones. And that's just a pretty good deal for us because he doesn't really have a budget, he doesn't care. He has a, a big budget for eating out for some reason. He really likes going out to eat. So this one was on the 28th actually. I'm gonna cover that up because that's very disturbing to me. Even though it's not really right. There you go. And my next spending day is on the 29th. I went to this store we have here called Bargain Hut because I needed some work pants and I couldn't find anything. I went to Target. I found something that I thought would look cute. When I tried it on, it really wasn't looking good like it wasn't form-fitting at all so i went to bargain hut i also went to walmart but they didn't have anything either and i actually took that out of my clothing sinking funds because i have i haven't been touching it and i've been touching my 
allowance a lot. I took it out for my allowance originally, but I needed my allowance for something else. So I'm trying not to spend so much on that. So I went to Bargain Hut. It's not gonna fit. I'm just gonna put that. And I spent $27. It was a lot, and that was just two pants. It was $14, but it was still a lot. No, it was twelve dollars. Never mind, not fourteen. It was twelve. But the one I found at Target was nineteen dollars, so actually it wasn't so bad. Twenty-nine right here. And the next one is gonna be on the first. I bought some more work-related stuff. Try to keep your like receipts for work clothes and all that good stuff because you can use that for your taxes. So I will keep those. I don't know. I guess I'll print out the one from Amazon. But I bought, what do you call this? A server book as well as like a notepad. You guys will see it on my vlog. I'll show you. But I took that out from my allowance. Oh, let us transfer my compliment card over here. Because we are moving on to July. So my allowance is the purple one. If you guys... Don't remember, I am making a dent out of these stickers, so that's good. And they were not cheap, those things. Oh, I spent $25 there. And that was when? That was on the first. I've been spending money, I guess, every day. Like here, like small purchases. I'm trying not to, but... I needed those work-related stuff since I'm pre-filming this. I did start on a Wednesday, so I needed those stuffs like quickly. And I didn't buy any shoes. I'm just gonna use the shoes that I had on the second. It's my spend day again. We did groceries on a Tuesday because my boyfriend works on a Monday, surprisingly, because to have his 4th of July off, he needed to work that Monday. So we needed groceries, so we had to do it on a Tuesday. Our groceries would be our pink one right here. We also ate out that time and I used my allowance for that eating out because I ran out of money on my eating out cash envelope. So let's start with the groceries. I went to the Asian market. I forgot, I don't know where I put my other one, but I went to the Asian market to buy hot dogs and some snacks. But we also had to go to Walmart, but I didn't have my receipt. But I know we spent a total of $43 on both so i'm just gonna put walmart even though i went to two places and i spent 43 dollars like i said a lot but i really needed those hot dogs because i eat them a lot if you guys didn't know when i'm just here at home and my boyfriend is not i use those a lot i'm just gonna put that or was it the second? Right here for the groceries. We went to Chick-fil-A <laughs> on, on that same day before we went grocery shopping so we don't grab things. And I spent $18 there. And I offered to pay because my boyfriend just paid for a lot of stuff during the weekend. So you guys don't really see what he pays for because I keep his budget separate. Like he, we don't do budget together because you guys already know. On Wednesday, I didn't spend anything and I already know that because I'm going to work today and that's it. I'm home and then I'm going to work and I'm not really taking an Uber because my boyfriend is taking me. And I only work for like four hours. It's not that long. We actually have to do our bills. I paid for a lot of bills because it is the end of the month. And I will take out the bill due stickers that I got from, from Erica. As well as the rent due because we did have to pay for our rent. So I bought these from her and she sent me these little rent due stickers. I love her stickers so so much because they are super colorful and I just really like how she does the rent due ones. Which one did we pay for first? So we had our internet which was Cox. So we had to pay for that on the 28th. Okay we have to go back here and I'm gonna start a new one because I ran out. So we're gonna do Cox for I thought it was higher, but I thought it was $34, but it was only $32 for my share. And then 
my credit card was due on the 28th as well. I paid it on the 28th, so we're gonna do the Candon's one. $76. And then we have electricity. I paid that on the 29th, and that was $40. Okay. My internet was due on the 28th. I can actually move this down because I have another one that I paid for. It was my Candon's card. And then we can fix this on the bottom. And my electricity was due on, well, I paid it on the 29th. So we'll put that right there. And the next one I have is on the 1st. I paid my rent and my electricity. No, I paid my rent and my water. So rent, my rent did go up, but my water stayed the same. Oh, and somebody mentioned like, why is my bill so low? It's because I have a roommate. So I have two roommates, that's why it's super low. Our rent regularly is $995. That's still very low if you're living in a big city, but it's it's high for me, so I have to get roommates. And that works out really well because I pay $10 for my water and we don't have any other utilities. Like we don't pay for gas or anything like that or like garbage and all that good stuff because the rent, everything is included in the rent. So my rent is 250, it used to be 215 I think or 210, something like that, but it was super low. If you don't have any kids, I feel like having roommates is the way to go because it's a lot cheaper and can honestly help you in the long run. We are staying at this apartment until December, so we need to be moved out by January. So we're still kind of figuring out what we need to do. Hopefully something like a better option for us. If I kind of cover the date, but I guess it's okay. So I have one no spender, and then I have another one right here i'm sorry if i'm going back and forth it's just i kind of had to do it this way because i check in from wednesday to thursday but i probably can change that since my um pay schedule is different now but i kind of like it like that because i have my videos up on certain days that i like it to stay that way and i'm pretty sure you guys are used to it i'm gonna put my no spend right here very quickly let's count our no spends for june because i didn't do a June recap just because I really had no income besides YouTube and Etsy around this time I did have one paycheck from work from my previous job but that was it so six 27 through oh my gosh I only make a lot of mistakes when I'm on camera I don't know like I write pretty good in pens and every time I'm filming I make a mistake it's just so aggravating so I won't be rolling over any money from my groceries because I will be out of a budget for a week since I should be stuffing my cash envelope this week but I won't so I won't have that one week so whatever kind of leftover I have on my groceries I need that for this week until I can stuff my cash envelopes again if that makes sense so I did transfer my cash money in my new cash envelopes which I used to sell but I will have that video up for you guys Tomorrow, yes, on a Friday. I've scheduled it on a Friday, I've filmed it and everything, and I do have like a very long story time if you guys want to hear it, I guess. It's not really a story time, it's more like a, a recap of my life, I guess. But anyways, moving on to this one. So my groceries, we spent $43, right? And um, let's see, where's my groceries? So my groceries is right here if i spend 43 and i had 63 in there i only have 20 dollars left over and i need to make this last until my next cash stuffing if i don't i can just grab whatever kind of money i have in my other cash envelopes and i will just let you guys know so we have 20 dollars left over so the next one is my allowance and we have 48 i kind of got confused for a little bit but because here I put that I took my 
clothing my work stuff from my allowance but I didn't I took it out from my clothing so that makes sense there you go so I took out $18 from eating out at Chick-fil-a so we have $48 in here let us double check that because I'm kind of doubting myself so we have 20 30 40 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes, there we go we used to have like 140 here but I've been just chunking in here every time I like have an emergency or anything else so I cannot wait to start stuffing this again because it's really helpful that I have this like cushion right here I don't really use it for anything but just that and if you guys didn't notice I'm putting my budget tracker inside my cash envelopes from now on and not really on the back because I just find it really tedious because it's a lot of work to tape in things here for my eating out, we used $23 from going to McDonald's, yeah, 23 So we have no money in here because we had $23 in here last time. Still trying to figure out which one's which because these are new, yeah. We are empty, nada. And for household, we didn't really spend anything on the household but we also didn't have any money in it. Yeah, we have zero balance in it. Yeah, we have the zero balance in our household, so we didn't have anything. But we did buy some household-related stuff on our groceries. I think that's what made it expensive. I needed to buy um, I needed to buy some bathroom cleaners, and I also needed some Ziploc bags, and what else did I need? Oh, garbage bags. So those are all household-related stuff, but I didn't have the fun for it, so I just took it out of my groceries. And I didn't have any unbudgeted. So that is it guys. I really really love this kit and I'm so excited because everyone else loves it. So I'm really glad and that just makes my heart really really happy. And I like this kit a lot too but I feel like the combination on this one is really good. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and keep enjoying my weekly check-ins. I do as well because it just lets me know what kind of spending I'm having. So. I'm super super glad that we have this every week. Let me know if you're alright with the schedule, if you want me to change it, if it's bothering you that it's in the middle of the week, I can definitely do that. But I kind of like the schedule that we have. Oh, don't forget about my code if you're interested on buying anything from my shop. I feel like this will be the way to do it because I, I barely have any codes but like I said, I'm working on having more in the future and especially for the people that frequently buys from me i can tell i can see your guys's names so i will i will see you guys in my next video bye